I am wearing a headband. The question is, should I be? I think the answer is no. <laughs> so, today I wanna do a makeup look and I have something in mind. I kinda wanna do like a rustic fall type of look. So get out your flannel. We're hitting the trail. Actually, when I say rustic, I just mean more like earthy tones. I'm feeling frisky today. I might even do like a hint of cranberry. Don't test me. Before we get started, a huge shout out and thank you goes out to Physicians Formula for sponsoring this video and working with me on it. I'm gonna be using some of my favorite products from their organic wear line and I've been loving cream cheek color, cream bronzers, cream highlighter, just all of that lately so much. I feel like it just looks so much better on my skin than like loading up a ton of powders and they have some incredible products that are just so gorgeous the shades are stunning so everything from the collection is under twenty dollars so that's it let's get started so first i'm going to be taking the hollywood flawless filter by charlotte tilbury i use shade two light and this stuff is you know pure magic in a bottle okay i know this is I'm sorry, but I'm not, because this foundation is so good. Okay, this is the Pat McGrath Lab Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. It is not a inexpensive product by any means. However, I do like it a lot because I don't have to use a lot of it, and it just looks so nice on the skin. I would recommend not using a beauty blender with it because I feel like it just kind of soaks up too much of the product, even if you dampen it and everything. It's still kind of, I don't know, I think it responds better to just like a very, very dense brush like this Zoeva Buffer 104 brush. Something really densely packed would do the trick. But you see how it just, oh, it just looks so light and feels light on the skin. Okay, we're good. All right, so next I'm just taking some of my Benefit Boeing Brightening Concealer in shade number one on a little duo fiber brush. And just lightly, I like to call it like wisping it onto the darkest part of my under eye. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer, and I'm using shade medium one. This is a great concealer. So I always like to apply my concealer first before I go in with any type of like cream product on my face. All right, so next up, I'm going to be doing a little cream bronzing, and I'm using the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer. This is in the shade Toffee. There are two shades. This product is honestly gorgeous. It has almost like a serum-y type of feel, but it doesn't. A lot of times when bronzers have that, they sort of just disappear into nothing on your skin, and they kind of get too absorbed into your skin, and then they just don't show up. This looks hydrating it looks so glowy and moisturizing but the color is beautiful and easy to blend and like really really shows up i'm actually gonna get a smaller brush you can really see the shade it's honestly so beautiful i really love it it's very easy to work with i just like the airbrushed finish that it gives it's never muddy or anything like that so just a little bit more about the physicians formula organic wear line they are high performance products made with organic and good for your skin ingredients they have a full line of skincare and cosmetics the line actually first came out back in 2008 and they have since like revamped the whole collection there's 13 brand new products with some old favorites still in there as well but they're like reformulated and they have all new packaging and everything like that these are the cream blushes but i really love that the packaging is sustainably created so it's completely recyclable recyclable and it's cruelty free um it's a clean formula so like minimal ingredients i just really love the story behind these products and these blushes you guys are so gorgeous so there's four shades the physicians formula organic wear dewy blush elixir i'm gonna say it again dewy blush elixir yes <laughs> that is what i'm trying to put on my face today crushed berries why don't we start off with that that's like the perfect fall color. And then a little bit more of this corally one. This is called Gorgeous Peach. So have those two, and you don't need much at all. So just like a little bit there. And then just kind of like swirl it in and brush it back. I will do a little bit of the peach because I mean, I already have it on my hand, right? That's a good like right on the apples color. <laughs> and then what I do with my cream blushes is I honestly just sort of go over every spot that I had my bronzer most definitely the nose because that just looks cute so this is when I like to get everything nice and set down into place so I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath labs 
uh, Sublime, what do we call this? Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. <laughs> In light medium too. So my computer recently broke. <laughs> so I'm using a loner computer, I'm borrowing my friends. And the fan on it is a little loud, so um, that may be what you're hearing in the background. But you know, would it really be one of my videos if there wasn't some sort of a technical malfunction going on? It's really just the, the light-hearted charm of my channel, is that nothing is ever really working properly. So I did already fill in my brows just to save us a couple minutes, just a few. Uh, but I got an idea and I think I'm gonna do it. So this is the Physician's Formula Organic Wear Brow Shaping Gel in the shade Soft Taupe. So I'm just gonna get that on the back of my hand like that and I'm going to take a little eyeliner brush. The tinier and the pointier the better. Dot on a couple little faux freckles. Uh, I do have real freckles but you know once I put all my makeup on to cover up my other uh, things, you can't really see the freckles anymore. So thus I, I know the irony of the fact that I have freckles. I'm covering them up and I'm drawing them back on but I still do it because I think it's cute. So right now the collection is available in stores at Walmart, walmart.com, physiciansformula.com, and also it's going to be rolling out into more retailers in 2020. That's the first time I've actually said that year out loud, <laughs> but next year. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And you can use the code OWALLY for, let's see, 10% off the organic wear collection at physiciansformula.com. So you can use that up until October 20th, I believe, is the expiration date for that particular code. Make sure you just order it on the website because then you'll get a 10% discount. No brainer. I feel like this look was definitely inspired by a lot of those like Instagram models you see scrolling through your feed that just have almost like, I don't wanna say the eyeshadow is messy, but it's not your perfectly blended, ultra precise rainbow cut crease either. You know what I mean? It's a little bit more lived in. Yes, they are supermodels, so they can pull off any look. They're just ultra symmetrical, but that type of makeup is so attainable and easy to do every day. It's actually very wearable. Um, you don't have to sit there blending until your eyelids are bleeding. So I am going to be using the Sephora Pro Pigment Palette. This is the warm one and honestly I bought this a long time ago and I did not use it for a very long time. It's kind of embarrassing. Recently picked it up and I've been using it all the time. I would highly recommend this. It is beautiful, beautiful. This one is like a rosier, like tawny color and yes they are very pigmented so you're going to want to tap your brush off. And I'm just gonna place that, you know, where we do, where us girls tend to, and guys, tend to place our crease color right on in the crease. Um, I start in the middle though, because I just feel like it's easier to blend everything. And then I'll go in little circular motions in this outer part right here, like really focusing on connecting it down to the lash line. And instead of doing an outer V, we're almost doing a, a C. I'm actually gonna take this color and mix it with this one. So we just want more of like a lighter neutral shade, but I have it more on the side of the brush, long ways like that. And we're gonna sort of sweep that across the entire lid and then drag it up to help us blend out that color we just put down. Get the cat hair out of my brush. We're gonna take this color up here. This is a Zoeva Luxe Crease 228. So it's a bit pointy. It's perfect for this outer corner. So you can just draw in a little chunk in the outer portion of your lid. Again, just making little tiny circles and a C motion. Love the shades in this palette. But I honestly feel like you can get away with doing a little bit less blending if you're just sort of more like soft with your application, like a little bit lighter hand. Again, like painterly with how you're applying stuff, just a little bit lighter. I think I'm gonna get a little sassy with some cranberry. It's my cranberry fingers. First things first, hello. You wanna get yourself a big old uh, angle brush. This plummy brown shade right here. I've always thought it was so much easier to do a wing just using like a liquid or a gel or whatever. Powder eyeshadow or powder liner for me seemed terrifying because it was like too you had too much freedom with the powder. Um, now, I've, you know, I've gotten used to doing it. It's so great. It's so much more forgiving 
Now, as much as I love this palette, it's only shimmer cranberry tones. This one from the Dose of Colors Desi and Katie Francation palette is cranberry shade. I'm gonna apply that over top. Popping a color like this into your eyeliner is just a great way to um, make your eye color pop because it is like right next to your eye. So, I'm gonna do the other side and I will be back. I took this uh, Pixie by Petra Endless Silky Eye Pen in the shade Mulberry and applied it, just like tight lined my lashes with that, and then did the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. This stuff is so good. I feel like I don't even really need false lashes with this look. You could totally do that, but then you kind of border on, well, am I gonna cover up the liner? with the lashes and then I'm gonna have to go back in and redo the line to make it even thicker. It's just, you just want like a whisper of color. So I think if you can get away with regular mascara, it's a good route to go. For the lower lashes, lower lash line, I'm just gonna take this warmer brown and we don't need a lot. We're just gonna lightly, I'm gonna lightly rub that into the outer corner. That sounds pleasant. Just kinda like stamp it right there. Okay, so for my highlight, I'm gonna take the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector Liquid in the shade, I think this is Opal. I really love this one. I even apply this to the inner corners of my eyes for a highlight. And you could always set this with a powder if you want to. I just like to leave it as is. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to achieve just like sort of that dabbed on blurry-ish lip look. So first thing I'm gonna do is take the Organic Wear Sculpting Bronzer again, but I really like to contour my lip first. And that's because if you just add color to the center and blend outwards, it can make your lips look really tiny. So if you contour a little bit, it's defining them, but it's more in like a natural looking way. So you can add the color to the middle. I'm just gonna use one of the Carly Bible liners, but I can't find the color that I'm looking for right now. So this is the Zoeva Graphic Lips in the shade Stumbling Grace. Fill in the rest of my lips with that. That way there is color for the shade to blend into. So you got something going. This one is the Physicians Formula Organic Wear Nourishing Lipstick, and this is in the shade Buttercup. These are really nice. The Physicians Formula Tinted Lip Treatments, again from the Organic Wear Collection, and the colors are so beautiful. So it's kind of like a tinted balm. This one is Tawny Nude. I think I'm gonna take a little bit of the lipstick in Buttercup, very lightly dab that on, press it in. The Tawny Nude color, Bummer that my light turned off. I almost made it all the way through this video. I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm and just get some on my finger. Again, we're not slathering this everywhere. Just for a little bit of juice. Especially since we don't have any shimmer on the eyes or anything like that. So it's gorgeous, okay. But it was almost up. So now that all of the uh, lights in my background are running out of battery, I think it's safe to say I should probably wrap up this video. All right, guys, headband is back on. I like it a little bit better with makeup on. Doesn't look like I should be like on my hands and knees scrubbing a kitchen floor in 1822. All right guys, so that is it for this makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed this. And thank you so much for watching. You know I'm gonna have more fall looks coming your way because I'm basic like that, and fall's my favorite season, <laughs> so it's my favorite season to apply makeup in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I love you guys, and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.